What's going on, Ambitious Vet? Welcome to episode number 51 of the Ambitious Vet Show with U.S. Navy veteran and founder and CEO of Military Talent Partners, Natalie Oliverio. Welcome to the Ambitious Vet, where we believe if you desire more, you have to become more. My name is Chris Hoffman, Marine Combat Veteran turned passion driven entrepreneur. On this show, I dive into the trenches with today's top performing military veteran thought leaders and influencers who know what it takes to not only pay the bills after the military, but really make an impact. You'll hear their stories, failures, and golden grenades to empower you to execute on what matters most in your life. Ambitious Vet, thanks for joining us yet again. Big shout out to iHeartRadio. They just approved us. I guess after 50 episodes, iHeartRadio sees us as good enough to be approved in their network. Since that launch on iHeartRadio last week, we've just launched in our ninth country. (laughs) Wow. If you guys would have only you know, seeing where this whole thing has started. Um, You know, about a year ago, I was interviewing some of these influencers from my phone, still connected the charger on one knee in an empty apartment because I believed in something more than my circumstances. How many of you guys are listening to this right now? No matter what country you're in, what state you're in, whatever time you're listening to this, how many of you believe in something bigger than your circumstances? That's this, this is just a prime example of how things can grow in a matter of just a few years if you make small daily decisions. Guys, I want to personally invite you to the Ambitious Vet Tribe where now we have over 600 ambis, ambitious vets from over 10 countries desiring more and want to work together in the trenches with you to become it. I always say that inside of that tribe, we incubate top performing veterans who make a bigger impact out of the uniform than they made inside of it, right? Right now, we have an ambitious vet march to a thousand going on where we're well on our way to get there, but without you, we're not going to get there, right? We have over $700 worth of prizes that are just going to narrow the gap from where you're at right now towards getting to your next mission quicker. One um, prize is a all access pass to the military infantry conference that's going to be happening in Washington, DC this year, which, you know, is going to be happening from September 8th through the 10th. It's an all access pass. It's worth over $200 right now. It's going to give you access to all the keynote speeches, workshops, breakout sessions, all that. But most importantly, you're going to be able to network with some of the top thought leaders, mill spouses, active duty, and veteran leaders out there in the trenches actually making it happen out of the uniform. Not only that, but we're going to have the rollers game, which is the next you know, mainstream lawn game started by an ambitious vet like like you that's, you know, looking to incubate your next idea, your next career. Um, you know, he launched the Rollers game 10 years ago and has now been an award-winning game. It's on Forbes, Martha Stewart. Um, it's been on multiple mainstream media outlets, guys. That's all inside the Ambitious Vet Tribe on Facebook. If you're not there, why not? You're already listening to this. You're feeling your head with great wisdom, learnt lessons, failures, golden grenades. Guys, if you want more resources, more connections, let's get you inside the Ambitious Fet Tribe and narrow that gap from where you're at right now towards that next mission that matters most to you. You can click the link in the show notes below, and I will personally see you there. Hey, this is Stephen, host of Knucklehead Podcast, and you're listening to the Ambitious Vet Podcast with Chris Hoffman. Ambitious Vet again, I just want to thank you for joining us for episode number 51. I'm excited to bring this to you. It's a female Ambitious Vet, Natalie Oliverio, uh, founder of Military Talent Partners, who brings in 10 years of experience for placing people in meaningful careers, guys. And I think what you're going to love most about this, for any of you guys that are out there that are in a job out of the uniform that is just not as fulfilling as you thought it would be. If you're hitting that that lid of just like, yeah, I mean, I'm getting the bills paid 
and this just is not as meaningful or fulfilling as I thought it would be. This is going to be a good one for you. Natalie dives into her story around how she goes and moves back to her hometown, fresh out the uniform, and gets a VA job in the HR department and realizes very quickly she's not satisfied, but everyone around her is telling her that she made it. Sound familiar? Well, in her heart, she desired more. She desired more impact, you know, more influence, but more importantly, a more meaningful career. Guys, this is Natalie. She served active duty in the U.S. Navy post 9-11. After her tour of duty, she graduated at WVU and spent more than a decade working as a corporate recruiter before launching her own business in 2018. Now, the day of this interview, she was celebrating one year at Military Talent Partners, where now she, from today's date, she's actually been able to help hire more than 250 veterans and mil- military spouses and has launched a first of its kind career transition accelerator. Now, over the past three years, she's volunteered as a mentor with five different organizations and has spent more than 3,000 hours mentoring military talent. Now, her husband, Damon, and her to celebrate 11 years of marriage this year, and they're raising their little girl, Isabella Mia, who in this interview, um, she thought was going to jump inside the room. Um, but she actually stayed out, guys, and I'm happy she did because Natalie got to really bring in the golden grenades that I hope gives you the aha moment. And ultimately, I hope it challenges you to connect with Natalie if you're not feeling satisfied and finding that meaningful career, leveraging her expertise, her resources, and her connections to make it happen. Let's go ahead and dive in the trenches with Natalie. Uh, Natalie, are you there? Hey, Chris, I am. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, man, we're, we're, we're jo- overjoyed and we're, you know, we're grateful. I know there was a lot of anticipation. I'm, I'm happy that we worked this all out. So kind of fill the gaps in that bio and tell us a little bit about more about who you are outside of what I already bragged about you a little bit. Well, I really appreciate that. That's so cool of you. Um, today is our birthday and Military Talent Partners. We are one year old. Come and- on. Uh, it's crazy. Like, I'm so proud of that. Honest to God, a year ago today, we were supposed to go on an anniversary trip, my husband and I, for our 10th anniversary. He came home and I'm like, we can't go, honey. Unpack your bags. We, ha- I have to have a website. We have to pay for this website and I need a logo and I need business cards because I just launched our business. Like, this is it. Mm. And he was kind of like, holy shit, for real? And I'm like, yep, this is happening. So we canceled our trip and Military Talent Partners was born on this day, one year ago. Also, while she feels like two children in one, Isabella Mia is my only one daughter. She's four years old. I feel like she's going to be making an appearance in this live. I just have a sixth sense. Um, But yeah, we love what we do at Military Talent Partners. Well, that's awesome. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, she, you know, Natalie mentioned that right before we went live and I was just like, man, bring on the family, bring in everything. Cause it's, as you know, inside this tribe, as you guys know, since we've been interviewing high level influencers from the beginning, it never always has to look perfect. It's all about the quality and the content and Natalie really knows her stuff. So Natalie, I mean, tell us a little bit about your transition story and how you started finding traction once you got out of the uniform. You know what? When I transitioned for the military, I thought I had it all figured out. I didn't need any help. I knew exactly what I was going to do. But I fell flat on my face. (laughs) And even though I transitioned back to my hometown, everything was different. It was right after 9-11 in 2005. And no one knew how to talk to me. And I didn't know how to talk to them. And I felt like an outsider in my own hometown, which Mm. is very unsettling because that's the one thing you think will always stay the same. But everyone around you or everyone around me had either been to school and graduated or started their professional job. So here I was kind of like in a time capsule and held back. So I had to start from scratch in the civilian world where everybody else was so much further ahead. That alone Mm is a very isolating feeling and a common thread that everyone that transition often feels. 
Yeah, no, I love how you articulated that. I mean, you know, I know I had a buddy of mine that I served in Afghanistan with back in 2010, that whenever he got out, he was, you know, he was just like, I don't know what to do. Do I go back and live in the same basement that I joined the Marine Corps in? But then also you got to deal with the the fact of like going back to like who you were before the Marine Corps. And it has to like really kill your self-confidence and your progress that you've made and and all that. So I, I love how you bring that to the surface because there are a lot of veterans that get out and they're just, they go back to their hometown and people relate to them based on who they were uh, before the uniform. And they just don't know how to keep that battle rhythm going and continuing to excel and progress. So I love that. So going back to you, Natalie, how did you identify your purpose out of the uniform? You know what? I had a, a love for helping other people, either empowering them to have a voice, empowering the, them to find their passion. I'm a natural cheerleader, <laughs> um, hard on my sleeve, loud, bubbly, like let's do this type of person. And so if I could have any part in helping you find a meaningful career that would define who you are, define your livelihood, help you provide for your family. Well, that made me feel special. That made me feel worthy. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I actually started working at the VA in HR and I could have literally, if there was a window in my office, I would have jumped out of it. I was so miserable. And that quickly taught me what I didn't want. And we're going to get to a point about that in a little bit. But I, 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 don't, I just, I could have just gone crazy there. Even thinking about it makes me uncomfortable. Um, so I broke out of traditional HR into talent acquisition and recruiting, and I got to talk to people about what they love to do and help them find mm. that right position. And I just absolutely loved it. Yeah, no, that's awesome. So it sounds like you just threw yourself into an environment, um, and like you just started identifying some key things that ignited this internal passion that you you didn't know necessary was there, right? Yeah, I didn't, what I didn't do were the fundamentals of yeah. finding your why, figuring out your purpose. What do you really even want to do? Everyone in my hometown thought if you worked for the VA or the FBI or any federal job, you've made it. You're good. Like you're set for life. But for me, I wanted to, I would rather run into a fire than have that GS type job because it just wasn't for me. There's nothing wrong with it. It just was the wrong fit. But had I done that preemptive finding my why, figuring out my purpose, then I wouldn't have had that that failure. And I and people thought something was wrong with me because I didn't want it. I had this mm. amazing thing and I threw it back. And people thought that that made me a failure. Or that meant I was you know, going in a wrong direction, or maybe she's messed up and she doesn't appreciate what she has. It, it was literally that bad. But on the inside, I felt amazing because recruiting talent acquisition was actually where I wanted to be. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, you found that passion. It sounds like it was something that was kind of like that aha moment for you. You found out your why. And then, you know, uh, you know, big shout out to Simon Sinek. Start with your why. That book is amazing. Always starting from your why. Always attracts the how to's and the what's and stuff like that in our life. So you kind of already touched on it just a little bit, but I mean, what was kind of your, your biggest failure and what did you kind of learn from it as you started, you know, realizing your passion of recruiting and now what you, you know, what you've become today, what was that failure and what did you learn from it? You know what? I would, I would confidently and honestly tell you, I fail all the time. Yes. I, I love that. Almost daily. Yes. Almost daily. But that's truthfully like, I don't have an MBA. I don't have the most money or capital in the world. I, I don't have all the answers, but I have a lot of experience and I'm not mm. afraid to try things. And yes. if I try something and I fail at it, that's okay. But if I never try and I stay scared and I don't grow that I have a problem with. So honestly, I fail all the time and confidently. So I'm okay with that. That's how I learn. Now it's the hard way. It's the school of hard knocks. But for me, that's just how I've come up. So in recruiting, I, it's been over a decade recruiting. And what I learned at multiple companies where I worked was I got really good at it, mm. but there was no progression. And the passion part of adding veterans and military spouses into companies was not really realized or recognized 
where I worked. So I kept feeling like a failure. Mm. I kept feeling like, well, maybe I'm not trying hard enough, or maybe I'm not good enough to be promoted to a senior director to have the say so to create these new policies. But in truth, it wasn't any of that. I was just in the wrong place and I was doing Mm. the wrong things because I was meant to be doing exactly what I'm doing now. Wow. And no wonder why you how I mean, I think when I checked on your LinkedIn, I mean, you've pl- you place veterans at like a 96 percent accuracy rate like uh, that. No wonder why you're so effective is because you've lived it. You've gone out there, you've you screwed it all up and you've put a decade of what I call in the trench work in, in, in the trenches work to get that get those scars, get those bruises. So you can kind of fall back on that when you do fall on your face. And that's, that's amazing. You're not afraid to get out there and continue to hook and jab out of the uniform. So, you know, this is going to be pivoting towards like kind of what you're doing, but today, but like, tell me more, what do you think the biggest challenge is for an ambitious vet that desires more, but doesn't know the next steps to become it? Like, what do you think the biggest challenge for an ambitious vet is, is becoming more out of the uniform from a recruiter standpoint? Stop staying in your own head. You have to talk to other people who are smarter than you. Surround yourself with the smartest, brightest, most positive people you possibly can and watch the magic happen. Mm. I promise you, if it wasn't for a few incredible mentors, I would not be where I am today. I would still be in a cubicle in a back office on the third (laughs) floor, miserable, crying in my car at lunch, texting my husband, how miserable I am and and thinking of reasons why I should be going home and missing out (laughs) on a meaningful life. And I, I can't even, I can't even stand the thought of that, but this is not, this was, this was done from failure life experience, and incredible mentorship. People who saw something in me that I couldn't. People who believed in me when I absolutely didn't. I'm the person that was always like, I can't do that. That's for somebody else. Or no, I'm not good enough for that. That's not for me. Uh, But I coach people every day into saying the opposite. So once I realized that that was complete bullshit and that everybody else who's done it is just the same as me, that I should just stop saying no and just go for it. So Mm. should every other veteran. There's no secret here. There's nothing special. Anybody can do this. Anybody. You just have to get started. No, I love the give up the no and just jump in. Ambitious Vet, if you're listening to this on the podcast, if you're watching us live, we're going to watch the replay later on. Just give up the no and dive right in and connect with people like Natalie that has a 96% accuracy rate for placing veterans like you, right, that are ambitious, trying to find that meaningful career that's going to just connect you with what matters most to you in your life, your values, what matters most to you, um, you know, leverage expertise, leverage decades of experience. It will narrow your time frame for your happiness and your fulfillment and in your career. And you'd be surprised the best ROI in your life will be the intangibles. The monetization comes later. And I had to learn that the hard way too. (laughs) So um, Natalie, from your decade, your decade of experience in the recruitment uh, arena, what do you, what have you found is the biggest struggle for veterans getting out, trying to find a career that is meaningful? They just don't know how to talk about themselves or articulate Mm -hmm. what they really want to do. So they show up at the career fair or the networking event And they start telling you about the past 10, 20, 30 years, but nobody wants to hear about that. They want to hear about you, who you are and where you're going, how they can help you get there and what drives you. But the military doesn't teach us to speak that way. They don't teach us to talk about those things. So learning how to do that and to do it as confident as I'm talking to you right now is a very powerful thing. And once you own that, You're unstoppable. You can talk to anybody anywhere. You can articulate yourself in 30 seconds, 60 seconds or less and make a clear, concise ask that someone else can then take action on for you. That's awesome. And I, you know, the, what I was going to ask after this is how can veterans get ahead of that problem? But I mean, I think the answer is, is, is get connected with you, right? Like, don't you have this transitional program that's going to be launching here in the next, what, couple months or stuff like that? Do you kind of want to put a plug out for that and what veterans you're looking for to kind of plug into that program? 
Yeah, look, Chris, we I started this company, Military Talent Partners, to combine the power of mentorship with recruitment. If you mm. can mentor someone, realize their potential, cultivate that talent, and then connect them to the right opportunity, that is magic. Yeah. That is what we do at Military Talent Partners. So mm. we offer free mentorship to anybody who wants it. We don't charge money for advice. We don't charge money for mentorship, but we do have a paid executive coaching program. It's a six week online cohort and it is very intense. It is only designed for people who are willing to do the work. It's mm -hmm. not an easy button. It's not a workshop. It's not a seminar. It is hard work and you're tasked with a different mission every week for six weeks. You have a one-on-one -on -one accountability partner You've got a small team that you work with, the large team, and then one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me. It's an incredible value, and it is absolutely changing the way that people transition. The people mm. who participated so far will tell you that the mission content alone is worth the price of admission. It's the best thing they've ever done for themselves. It's the most time and focus and energy they've ever, ever given to themselves. So when you think of what you could possibly do, if you spend a few hours intently working on transitioning your next career, you would be so surprised. You'd be unstoppable. You would be able to crush it no matter what you do, no matter where you're going next, what your goals are. This is for anybody who's in that stage. No, I love that. And I love the word accelerate. You know, that was one of the things I was looking for back in 2012 and I got out of the Marine Corps is I was just like, I felt like everyone else had the secret formula and I just, I didn't have it. I felt like I was too stupid to have it. And um, <laughs> yeah, and it sounds like you're bringing in all this, all this experience, all this this knowledge and skill set that you've spent years accumulating, you you have the connections, you have the resources that can help narrow the gap from where they're at to where they want to go very quickly. And I, you know, ideally, you know, every ambitious vet that's going to listen to this or watch this, you know, they're going to also know that I, I love this as well. Is that you're having them pay to play. And I think that's huge inside the veteran community. And that's what I preach all the time because I, I know that it has them have skin in the game and it has them create a commitment that's bigger than themselves. When it's free, not many people show up, but it, even though with all the value you're bringing in, the experience, the resources, the connections of the companies that you've made connections with over the past 10 years, the price for that is absolutely Nothing. I mean, what's the what's the regular retail price for the program? It's a thirty eight hundred dollar value, regularly priced at four ninety seven. Wow. <laughs> and then you're actually making a special offer to any ambitious vets that are watching this or on the podcast, aren't you? We are. So actually, anybody can get two hundred dollars off, making it two ninety seven. But if you're an ambitious vet, you can come to us and get it for one ninety seven. Get a hundred dollars wow. off. Wow. And that's a, that's a uh, six week program, coaching, mentorship, and actually placement inside of a career as well. So the placement is separate. That's totally different because everyone in the career accelerator is at a different stage. Mm. They may be two years out. They may be on active duty or one year out. They're, they're, not everybody is career ready um, to be placed. So that's separate. Also, we still work with everyone for free in mentorship. Advice is free. A lot of people like to say you should never pay for transition advice. I agree. Advice is free from anybody that doesn't make a good advice. This is not advice. This is an intense career accelerator where you are going to yes. be doing work every week to make progress for yourself. This isn't yes. somebody doing it for you or driving your driving the bus to your destination. This is giving you the bus, the gas, the fresh tires, the oil change, and the signals and the seatbelt and everything else that you need to get there safely. Yeah, no, I love that. I, I think uh, having all the tools in the toolbox to go out there and, and, and gain practical knowledge, I think paying to gain that practical knowledge that's already been gained over years of failure. I think that's well worth the bang of the buck right then and there. So we have a, we have a tradition here, Natalie, it's, it's three golden grenades. So what is three golden grenades that you could provide right now that could drop immediate impact for any ambitious vet out there that's looking to become more, to attract more of that impact, happiness, or even increase effectiveness out of the uniform? 
Number one is to absolutely get a mentor, a civilian mentor who's been in their professional career for several years and can give you expert level advice that's tailored to you. It will help you silence all the noise from everybody else who's trying to tell you what's best for you. And it will just be something that's actually for you. Mentorship is magic and you should use it at every opportunity. Number two, create your own timeline. When you see the future, you see what's at the end of it, you can reverse engineer your way there. But you have to see that timeline to know how to assess what comes next. But you have to absolutely take massive amounts of action to make your transition happen, or it will happen to you. And that's not a good Mm. thing. Number three is to really think about what's right for you and your family post-military, because you are young. You have a lot of life left to live, and now it's your chance to call all the shots. So make a plan, talk with your family, and visualize your transition. Mm, I love it. You're bringing that law of attraction vibe in here. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, thank you. Those All three of those golden grenades are absolutely amazing. And Ambitious Vets, if you're listening to this, watching this, or watching this on replay, I suggest you pick one of those and go and implement those. Or maybe you just heard those and you're just like, yeah, but... I invite you to reach out to Natalie and be like, you know, what, what did you mean by that? How have you applied that golden grenade in your life? You never know. You may get a new resource, a new opportunity, whatever it is. Everything starts and ends with communication. Okay. So Natalie, um, you know, where can people go and follow you? How can they take advantage of this ambitious vet offer? How can they get more about how do they accelerate their career path out of the uniform? You can reach out to us at militarytalentpartners.com anytime. Every page on our website has a form to contact us. All of those contact us submissions come to me personally. So I reach out to everyone personally to make sure they're getting what they need, when they need it, and put on the right path, whether it's with me or someone else. And at the top of our website on every page, it says, click here to learn more about mission career transition. That is our online career accelerator. Any questions, send them to me, natalie at militarytalentpartners.com. You can connect with me on all the socials and I'm very accessible. So my goal is to support you in any way I can and to meet you wherever you are. So what you need is just to let me know. Mm, that's awesome. Just ask, right? Just ask. Just and ask. Receive. That's great. So Natalie, I just want to acknowledge you for who you are for our community. Being someone that could have easily stayed you know, inside the corporate world, continue to make, you know, great money and just, you know, build your family and all that. And, you know, you didn't choose to do that. You chose to be an ambitious vet, expand, take the big leap and provide wisdom to an audience that desperately needs it. Thank you for bringing in your golden grenades and thank you for who you are for our community. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate you having me here on your podcast. Thank you so much. Well, there you have it, Ambitious Fat, episode number 51 of the Ambitious Fat Show with Natalie Oliverio from Military Talent Partners. Again, I challenge you, okay, if you are out of the uniform, no matter if you're still active, if you're two or three years out, whatever it is, I challenge you to go check this, this career accelerator program out that's planned to be launched June 24th, you're 30 days out. Right, six weeks intensive program like Natalie was talking about. If I could only imagine having this when I got out back uh, out of the Marine Corps back in 2012, you know, this would have narrowed tons of failures and actually two failed suicide attempts for me um, from just you know not not knowing what it took. Um, you know, I would just encourage you to hear my voice, hear my passion, hear my caring for you, and just go at least find out more information. I'll have the link in the show notes below. Guys, it's a regular it's a program regular thirty eight hundred dollars for an ambitious vet. It's only one ninety seven. Here's the here's the thing. The only risk is one ninety seven, right? You're going to have full access to Natalie, all of her experience, all of her connections, and all of her tools for you to go and identify that next meaningful career in your life. Guys, it's knowledge and wisdom you'll find is priceless in your life. I encourage you to connect with Natalie, amazing woman, 
obviously has failed a lot to figure it out. She has tons of weight to her words. That's all I'm going to say, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. Feedback is what allows anything to improve in life. We want to improve for you. So meet us in the middle, and let's get better inside the trenches together. Sound good, ambitious vet? Lastly, I already know if you're listening to this, you're warrior made. But to become passion-driven, utilize just one golden grenade you heard from Natalie today, and you will find your life being more meaningful and impactful. Let's go get it.